All right. So now when we are building landing pages, um, you will be uploading images to your landing pages. Take for example, let's say you are creating a product and then um, as a product creator, you want your customers to see the picture of you in that landing page. And also, you may also want them to see um, testimonials, okay? Or if there are payment evidences from your customer so far, you need to screenshot this and then put it up on your landing pages to for, okay? And um, so um, this is when... Um, so before you could do something like this, you or as you are building your landing pages, you need to know how to format and upload images from your media library to your landing page. Now, let's get over to what we've been building so far. All right. And um, coming down here, we want to, we already did something of that nature here before, but let's just pick another um scenario let's say we have a let's say we have three different columns and you want to put up let's say a proof of payment or your conversation in whatsapp chat with your customers now drag the image element from here and then put it down here now you notice that once you've dropped your um, image element here we have a default uh, image already here so you can choose to delete it here and remove it from here all right, and then you click on that plus button to add a media from your library. Now, let's select this. Um, let's select this image from a library. If it's not already uploaded, you need to go to upload file, select the file from your system directory, and then you put it up on the platform. Now, since you already have it in a media library, let's go to your media library, then select the file from your library, then click on insert media. Now, you, when, once you've done that, he's going to insert the media to your page, right? To your sales page. Now, we can choose to format this image. For example, we can add caption to it here, or we can add a link, all right, to this, maybe a custom URL, such that if a customer clicks on here, it's going to direct that customer to another page, but we are going to be leaving it known. Let's leave it known. Then, under styles, um let's give a border type of solid right you can choose solid we have different border types here solid double dotted and a whole lot of them or you can go with the dotted then choose um two as a width right two pixel here and then also we want to give a border radius of 10 pixel right to make it rounded here and once you've done that, when you, once you have finished formatting a single element here, that is the image element, right click on it, then click on copy. Once you've copied, make sure you paste those, those elements, the images in other columns. Now, for you to replace the next image, you have to click on it, go back to choose image, and then select a different image from your library and it's going to be replaced here. Do the same for the third one. Choose a different library media from here and then insert media down here. All right. Now, when, when you've successfully done that, okay, this is the, the steps, the processes you are going to follow to add your images. This same process follows when you are adding a product. Let's say you are selling hair products or since you are talking about becoming a pro in data analysis using SQL, okay, you may want to add the instructor that's the owner of the course here. Okay, let's take for example that I'm the owner of, owner of the course. Now I have to click on here and then add an image to it. Let's choose an image to it. Then I'll choose my image here, the picture I have in my repository. I can choose the picture here. Right, so this is basically how to add and format images on your landing page. Now you can go to styles, go to hover, which effect do you want to apply when the mouse is hovered around the image? You can increase the opacity here. Okay, let's take it down a little further. 
let's take it down here let's move it up okay so we are moving it up this way so the effect won't be too much now we can also add the hover animations okay you can add the hover animations and um okay though this is not necessary you can decide to choose it or leave it the way it is you can switch it off okay you can switch it off here then um all right so this is how to upload images and how to format them in our landing pages for now we are going to be stopping here and in our subsequent lessons we are going to be seeing some other extra features or when it comes to building landing pages some of the other elements we need to put up to build beautiful designs in our landing page so thank you so much and i'm expecting to see you in my next class